there are some new sheriffs in town and game time is over for Joe Biden and his administration and their stonewalling of congressional oversight. Folks, welcome to Explain America. I'm your host, Carmine Sabia. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Also, please make sure you're following us at Explain America on Facebook. Share those stories, share those videos. Again, it helps a small channel like ours grow, you know, go against the mainstream media monolith. Now, Joe Biden and his administration have been able to quite aptly avoid congressional oversight to any real degree over the past several years because they had a Democrat-controlled Congress, both the House and the Senate, Democrat-controlled, although the House is the one that really handles the oversight of the administration. But things have changed. <clears throat> There's a new sheriff in town, and his name is House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, and there are new people in charge of the various committees in the House, one of them, Jim Jordan. Now, you knew Jim Jordan was not going to take it easy on the Biden administration, but he's been patient. He has sent several requests for information pertaining to interviews and other research and information that various groups in the government have done that he wants oversight on. And he's been stonewalled. Same stonewalling they did against the Democrats, although the Democrats really weren't trying to get, you know, too deep. But now the Republicans do want information and he's, the, the, the Biden administration officials are stonewalling. They don't want oversight. And one of those officials, and this is the, the one I'm the most interested in hearing from, is Nina Jankowitz. And Nina Jankowitz, of course, was famous. She's, she's in charge of the National School Board Association now. But if you remember, she was going to be in charge of the Disinformation Governance Board that a lot of people likened to Big Brother. Now, Jim Jordan has dropped the hammer on these people. He said, look, I've, I've sent request after request after request. This is your final warning. This is the last request I'm making before I send you congressional subpoenas. Congressional subpoenas that you're going to have to come in and testify for. Because as you remember, Steve Bannon was put in a jail cell, in a prison cell, for not obeying a congressional subpoena. Well... Now there's other people dishing out the subpoenas, and I think they're looking to make an example of somebody. So if I was somebody in the Biden administration who got a subpoena, I would darn sure make certain that I complied with that subpoena. So Jordan has, has given these agencies their final warning. And folks, over the next year, just the next year alone, we're going to see some awesome, awesome kind of battles in the House between Biden administration officials and Republicans. You guys know Jim Jordan is a firecracker, and he's going to want answers to a lot of serious questions. And I think we're going to find out a lot about what's really been happening in the Biden administration. So definite hat tip to Jim Jordan for doing the right thing. We appreciate it. And we appreciate you guys for tuning in here at Explain America night after night. We love you so much for that. Please make sure to tune in each and every night. Please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And follow us at Explain America on Facebook if you're not already doing so. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.